Hi everybody, um, I'm making a video to show some recent record store purchases that I made about two weeks ago. Uh, I had a business trip up to Tallahassee, so I was able to do some record shopping up there. And um, the next day on the way back, I stopped at Arrow's Aim a record store in Gainesville that I've been to before. And I've shown some purchases from there before. I like it quite a bit. Uh, the owner's really friendly. They uh, give me a good deal on trade-in credit. So uh, in this video, I'm just going to show the purchases that I made at Arrow's Aim. Uh, but before we get to that, I stopped by the, uh, I think it was the Hospice Thrift in Gainesville, not too far from Arrow's Aim. And I found one record in there, which is this 12-inch single by uh, B-Movie. It's on Sire. It's uh, the Nowhere Girl single. And it has the B-side tracks Remembrance Day and Nowhere Girl short version. So that was a pretty cool find for a buck. Uh, most of the rest of the stuff they had was not very good. It was uh, show tunes and, and uh, Dean Martin and Mario Lanza and, and that type of thing. So I did not spend a lot of time looking for records. Okay, sorry about that loud clanging noise coming from the kitchen. Um, I'm going to resume the video now and show you some other records. So... At Arrow's Aim, they were having a sale on um, some of their, I guess, overstock music or things that uh, they wanted to move pretty quickly. So uh, they had a sale. Uh, you could buy five records for $20. So I'll show you the ones that I got for uh, $4 each. So first of all, Utopia, Deface the Music. I had bought a copy of this record recently, and the jacket was kind of dinged up. Uh, I liked this a lot. It's very 60s inspired Utopia. And I just wanted to pick up a better copy of it. So I traded my old beat up copy and I bought this one for $5. Okay. Next up. A Stanley Clark album that uh, I've seen before but I've never owned a copy of. Journey to Love. This one's on Nimper. It's in a really nice shape. Had shrink wrap on there, but I took it off because it was starting to peel. Haven't played most of these yet, by the way. Okay, uh, I don't know if I've ever owned this on vinyl. I found a nice copy of Steely Dan, Katie Lied. So I think this is an old um, ABC, ABC pressing. Got the inner sleeve with the lyrics on it. Very handy. I don't think I've ever seen the lyrics from this album. And it's on the old ABC label. It's a great record. Really looking forward to playing this one. All right. Hard to find Steely Dan that cheap, too. Four bucks. Okay, I uh, found the Squeeze album, East Side Story. I see this a lot. I'd never heard this record. Uh, spun it a couple of times at work and enjoyed it. It's a uh, good British pop. I've, I've heard others squeeze before. Uh, I didn't like it as much as Cool for Cats, but uh, there was definitely some, some classic stuff on here. Woman's World is a really good song. Uh, and of course, it's got uh, Tempted by the uh, Fruit of Another, which I didn't know that they covered that song. So it's probably one of their big hits. And then finally, I was so excited to find this. Especially for four dollars, Quincy Jones Smackwater Jack. It's even got a really cool uh, uh, relief cover here. It's uh, what do you, and it's an embossed cover. And uh, I had actually been looking out for this record, and boom, there it was in the uh, four for five dollars, or five for four dollars bin, or five for twenty dollars. Anyway, Quincy Jones Smackwater Jack. Okay, moving right along. The next one that I found was also another record I was looking for. A disco funk album by Fat Larry's band. It's called Looking for Love. Risque cover there. Um, has a couple of little minor wrinkles here and there. Um, this is on the Fantasy WMOT, uh, I guess. I'm not sure. I guess that's what that says, label. Let's just call it the Fantasy label. Um... I have heard this record before, and uh, I had to get a vinyl copy of it, so it was only $5, too, another bargain. Really happy to find that. Okay, next up, um, 
played some Lime in one of my DJ sets recently. I did an Italo disco set, and uh, even though they're more on the straight up disco side or the synth pop side, uh, I do like this band. And uh, this album is called Sensual Sensation. And it's on the um, Mantra label, I guess. Pretty nice looking label. So that was a cool find. Uh, they do, I think their second album was released on lime colored vinyl. Um, it's a Canadian pressing, super rare. And uh, I've got my eye peeled for that one. So in the meantime, I found this one. Okay, next up, got a little Fun Boy 3 here, waiting for $6. It's an excellent condition. It's on Chrysalis. All right, moving up in price. Been looking for this record too, Sarone 4. Almost every copy you ever find has a big saw cut in it, uh, which this one does. Uh, one of the cool things about this record is it's got an interesting gatefold. I'm not even going to try to describe the narrative that's going on in that gatefold. I'll, I'll just let, uh, let you guys figure it out. So, as usual, it's got four songs, two per side, straight up disco. Saron was the master. Uh, another uh, Frenchy disco album. This is a Canadian pressing. Of Garçons. So it's got their classic French boy on it. But here's the uh, clincher. Look at this. It's on transparent yellow vinyl on the Philips label. If this was a French pressing, it would probably go for more money than $15, which is what I paid for it. Uh, however, this is a Canadian pressing, but it's still got the shrink wrap on. It does have a little hole punch up in the top right corner. Uh, other than that, it looks to be in great shape, so I'll definitely be using that in a future disco set. Getting close to the end here. So this was a blind buy. Um, this is Tim Hecker Love Streams. It's a double album on 4AD. It was released in 20, uh, 2016, I think. Um, I was reading the liner notes, and it mentioned that it had some choral arrangements by Johan Johansson on it. So I thought, it can't be all bad, even if I don't like it for the most part. But I did listen to it, and I like it quite a bit. It's a really strange album, though. Uh, it's kind of glitchy, ambient music with the occasional choral snippet, kind of all mixed around and tossed into a blender. And then you get something really interesting out of it all. So... Check that one out if you get a chance. Tim Hecker, Love Streams. All right, and then the last album from Arrow's Aim. I had been looking for this record, too. Didn't think I'd find uh, this particular copy of it, though. This is the first uh, Purity Ring album. It is called Shrines. This is what the front and back cover look like. It's some pretty unique artwork. This is what the inner gatefold looks like. And then this one is on beautiful teal colored vinyl, which looks a little bit more like kind of a milky sky blue color to me. I've already heard this record. Um, I know I like it a lot and I paid $24 for this used copy of it. I haven't cleaned it and played it yet. So there you have it. My, uh, purchases from two weeks ago from Arrow's Aim. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment and thanks for watching my video.